Hey guys, today I'm doing something a little bit different. This is gonna be a two part video where I do the brows and eyes in one and then I'll do the rest of the face in the other video. Today I'm trying to recreate this look. Um, it's like a doll look. And this one is by Makeup by Claudia. So I will tag her Instagram and everything over on my Instagram. So if you'd like to check her out, I highly recommend it. She's super talented. So um, she has purple brows in here, which is what we're gonna do. So I'm going to take these two shades by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. One is in I'm Ro Royalty and the other one is in Problematic and I'm just going to mix these two together. I feel like I need to go over my eyebrows first with something, hey? What I might do is put some lash glue in them to get them all stuck down. So this will go really tacky in a minute. And then what I'm going to do is go in with my RM RCMA No Colour Powder and just set over the top. God, I could never pull off a Jeffree Star and have no eyebrows, I mean. So now I'm going to mix these two liquid lipstick colors together. I already know this is gonna be such a pain to get off, but doing it for you guys, you know. So actually I might bring it a little bit closer. I'm gonna start kind of where my nose starts and just like that. So I feel like that even that's a bit too thick, but we can fix it up later anyway. This is hard to do because my brush keeps getting the powder in it. So that's the kind of thing we're going for. Hers looks a lot nicer than mine. We can clean it up with concealer, so I'm not going to sweat it too much. Okay, so I'm just going to do the second brow off camera just to save us a little bit of time. And then I will be back. Okay, so I just kind of took off a little bit of this brow, this one, because it's a bit worse than the other one. Like, I want them both to look like this. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is go in with some concealer. I'm taking my ColourPop No Filter Concealer today, and this one is in the shade... Fair zero zero, so it's white, which is perfect. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is wipe off this brush and use this brush to carve them out, um, just because I don't wanna <laughs> ruin any of my brow brushes. So I'm just trying to make them look as neat as possible. See, I didn't really nail keeping them the same length the whole time, but, I mean, sorry, the same width, but that's okay. I feel like it'll be fun to like recreate this later on in the year or something and see how my makeup skills have grown. Now that they're carved out, I think it looks better. Okay, so they're not looking the same, but it's fine. Like, it's just gonna have to do, you know? What I'm gonna do now is just go with my no filter concealer all over my eyelid. Just blend that in. I'm just gonna go back in with my R CMA powder and just set that so we don't get any creasing. So this eye look of hers is actually really, really beautiful. So it's like very purple and very black and very smoky. God, I don't know if I'm skilled enough to do something like this, but I'm gonna try. I feel like for this look, it'd be best to use tape because hers looks very perfect. So I'm first going to go into the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I'm gonna take, oh, this purple. I think I'm getting sick. So I'm going to take that purple and I'm going to put it in the outer corner and move it up a little bit into the inner corner. I mean, not to the inner corner, sorry, what I'm talking about. To like the middle of the eye. And then I'm gonna leave a gap. And then come in the other side. So something like this. I'm really not using the right brush for the job. I need to swap brushes. But yeah, basically I'm just building that up and leaving the middle blank. The pigment won't show as well today because I have set it with powder so and used concealer as a base. So I feel like it's not gonna hold on to pigment as well as it normally would. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just blend this off camera. I'm just gonna blend this off camera to save a bit of time and then I'll come back. Okay, so I blended it best I could. It's a little bit hard because of the glue and stuff on my eyes. But anyway, so she has black. And I'm really scared to do black, to be honest. But we're going to have to do it. 
I think what I'm gonna do is go in with like quite a small brush. Just gonna go for it. So I'm gonna start with a tiny bit and just, hers is quite like, oh my God, why is it not focusing today? But like something like that. Like it kind of looks like a wing, but it kind of doesn't. And she's also got some in the inner part of her eye. Something like that, I think. So I think it's basically something like this. And then on the middle of my lid, I'm going to put this Stila Glitter and Glow Diamond Dust Liquid Eyeshadow. Okay, so what I'm just going to quickly do is just blend the edge of this. I'm just going to take the tape off. So it's definitely not as neat as it could be, but I feel like hopefully it should come together a little bit more when the whole look is done. I'm going to go in with my Their Real Mascara Primer by Benefit. Going to take my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So for lashes today, I'm going to take these insanely huge ones from Unicorn Cosmetics. These ones are in the shade Fluttershy and they're just like probably the biggest lashes I've ever seen. But I think they'll look really cool with these. So I'll do those off camera and then I'll come back and show you how it looks. Okay, so this is how the eyes are looking with those lashes on. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like them. Like I could have done a heaps better job. Like look at it, it looks very messy and you know I'm just not really a fan of what I've done but well, I'm still going to continue on with the look and finish it all up and hopefully it'll look a little bit better but I'll just zoom you in just so you can see like it was just quite hard to work over the glue so it was really hard to blend it out at the top um, and then the sides and stuff obviously are very blocky and yeah Anyway, it's like one of those kind of creative looks, so it's not really the biggest deal. Like, you know, it's one of those looks that you play with and yeah. So anyway, I'll come back in and check with you guys after everything's done and show you how it all looks together. So yeah, see you soon. Okay, so this is how it all looks when it's come together. I'll just show you the eyes. So this is how they look. As I said, I'm not really like super impressed with them like I think I definitely could have done a better job but I mean it's all part of learning um maybe next time I attempt this look I you know will do them a little bit better but yeah um I still hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one bye <laughs>